and are you so uh oh and then you kind of lost the slalom for a bit and i think that's what made you suffer up at the top because you started second guessing just in the slalom like you were pulling like you were going forward going forward and then you started pulling back like midway like oh god oh god oh god am i gonna make it am i gonna make it yeah so that's one of the things you're doing and it the verbalization is what keeps you forward from thinking about where you are because you need to think about where you're going okay all right you kind of get that yeah. that point of what the verbalization does for you yeah i know it's hard to do but it's one of those things that comes with practice i still do it i don't do it the whole course anymore but i'll do it for certain sections when they're coming up i need to like if i need to set the front of the nose of the car like harder than normal or carry a certain amount of speed like be confident with my throttle i'll tell myself like okay be easy be easy okay now go now go now go oh okay so like stuff like that where i'm just giving myself that mental reminder that i have to do these things or that it's not going to work out kind of okay kind of get what i'm saying mm -hmm. okay so when do i when do i give it up over here then so long as you're diligent with being on the back side of these cones uh -huh. and you've come to the back side of here basically it's going to be a quick break just right in here if you stayed on the back side but if you're trying to accelerate all the way through oh. and you've gotten late okay okay it's, it's gonna be too late up here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you gotta stick to the backside of all four of these cones now to make this work. Okay. And you'll be rewarded with some extra room if you are. If you're not backside here, you know, cause this sucks. Yeah, yeah. All right? I guess I hesitated because I know this is coming up. Yeah. And I don't know how to make it. I, I don't know if I can just tap and I'll make it. If you are backside here, it's a very light break. Okay. It's a very light break and then you tuck the nose and then you start this slalom. Okay. It's very, it's about as simple as it can be if you stay on the backside. But if you get greedy in the slalom, you pay for it directly at that shoot. Okay. Okay? All right. You got three runs. Talk yourself through that section because it'll stop you from being like abrupt on the throttle. Okay. What's going on? Because it wasn't quite right. All right. Three runs. Otherwise, good stuff. I like what I saw here. It looked like you slowed down. Steady. You felt that like one quick break, right? Yeah. Like one quick break and then you could kind of tuck back in. And I didn't see your brake lights light back up for that secondary slalom. The, at the top? Yeah. Oh. No, I did it a bit. Just a hair, right? Yeah. It was real quick. Yeah. But it was right when you entered or was it like the middle of it? No, like after the second cone. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Like oh. just, just lift. Like you don't, you really don't want to break in a slalom. Oh, okay. Because okay. that throws off the rhythm. Okay. Like and it takes away that like the normal pendulum motion, like that you can you can get into while you're in a slalom. You're talking about the second slalom, the little slalom, yeah. not the big one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like the big one, you only braked at the very end. Yeah. And that was great. Yeah, that and one felt much better. Yeah, the top one I couldn't see that the brake lights lit up in the middle, but right, you did. You like it's a no no. Just lift off a little. Right? But I have to brake for the turnaround, right? No, that, that's not fast. Oh really? No, just oh, turn. Shoot. Okay. Just turn and like if it starts to understeer, like unwind the wheel and start throttling it when you're up at the top like basically you're doing your slalom whatever speed you exit with like just continue with that like that throttle position and just get a little bit extra turn like as you turn grab the bottom and grab a little bit more and then start to unwind and keep throttling okay and it's gonna net you a higher speed coming down the hill so be ready okay okay all right go for it you got two runs left
So I, I saw your break. break. You don't have to break. I tried. I you didn't have to break. You're just carrying a little bit too much speed right there. Just set your speed from the very beginning of the slalom, right? Mm -hmm. your... Okay. No, not for the secondary yeah, slalom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so if you're going to break, don't break in the middle. Break right at the beginning, alright? Okay. Right before you make that turn in, I'll, I'll accept one little break like as you enter. Okay. Set that speed and then maintain as you come around. And then as you come around that corner, start to unwind. Like, feed a little more. I saw you feed a little bit more and it kind of pushed you out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, which it wasn't necessarily bad because you're unwinding the wheel, right? And you're still maintaining forward momentum. So, as you're coming out, just keep that momentum going. But stabilize the car at the beginning of that slalom so you can carry what you need to through and then just have that harder turn at the exit, okay? Set the speed at the beginning to carry through, all right? Stay away from the brake. Got it? It'll work. Okay. You got it. 35.9 already. I know it's working. too fast it just kind of messed me up and then right so turning around was just just off are you grabbing enough of the extra wheel or are you just like or like are you frantically like Bleh. no okay yeah that was what i worked on in the first part was not being so frantic on the wheel. yeah okay the only thing i can say is that you do not break going into that secondary slot so you never set a speed all you did was just keep on going I guess so. I, I tried to make sure that when I put my foot on the gas through the slalom, yeah. I just put it there and I left it. Because you're not a left foot breaker, right? No. Yeah. But when I put it there and I left it, and then I lifted, yeah. I was like, wait, this is too fast. There's no way I can turn around yeah. without pushing the brake. So. Like I said, you probably just had too much throttle input into it. Mm. And like as you started, like as soon as you turn, like you do that extra turn, like you have to lift off a little bit. Like that's where you would have been far, far from wrong. Because you're probably going through that secondary slalom. You're probably like 50% throttle. But if you don't, if you turn extra, remember you got to come off the throttle a little bit. And then gradually go back down and go straight. It's not a lot of braking to be had. Because it's so slow on that entry. Mm. And you find out it's going to be worse in the afternoon. Well, first, worse. Just wait. <laughs> We're going to go back the other way again, huh? 